welcome back to this week's episode of Nail This Zone. Game number eight between the Limes, Oranges, Pears. Huge one for the standings. Back at the beautiful square line field. The Cephas windshield up at the plate. Pops one up to Tumbleson, who can't come up with it. Courlander had a shot at a two, and windshield's in the second. Second and third for the Oranges here in the early part of the first inning. What a funny play. As Tumbleson and Courlander both had multiple opportunities, it seemed, to field that ball. Here's the light 4-3 cone cam. LOL, what an angle. And then we're going to go to the main cam. It's going to be popped up once. Then a second opportunity off the leg of Tumbleson. And then Corlander almost comes up with it. And then Tumbleson almost gets it on like the third try. Second and third now. Splinter popping one up in foul territory. And Mike Corlander with the catch of his life. Full on extension. And he steals it from the ground to get out of the inning. What a catch. A top 10 catch indeed. And Tumbleson is loving it. Just look at the extension from Mike Corlander in the field. Just grabs it off the ground. Huge out for them. Bottom of the first. Now the pairs are cooking. Barney Buckapples over the head of Windshield. Who makes the catch? Defense coming in again in the first inning. It's the Cephas Windshield who's been solid on the mound defensively this year. Making a play in the field over the shoulder and grabs it, corralling it in for the out and gets out of the inning. Top of the second. Splinter throwing to Corlander who takes it the other way and is digging and is in safely second and third for the Limes. The second extra base hit of the year for them. Second and third. Fly ball to Barney Buckapples who catches it and Mike Corlander flies out. Orange is out of it. A lot of missed opportunities offensively thus far. Now the Orange is with a shot. First and second to see if his windshield goes and takes one. There's going to be a play at second and Corlander throws it away. Windshield's going and hurdles over the throw. It's going to bring in three runs. A 3 nothing game for the Oranges and a huge momentum swing. The first run scores as windshield touches second and then goes to third and home to bring in the other two. And an absolutely massive play for the Oranges to snag the lead and Windshield is pumped up. Oranges adding more runs and then it's going to be Windshield who elevates a riser in the deep left field on a 3-2 count. Which means the bases are cleared. It's the first ever double in league history. Bases clear because of the 3-2 count. It's 8-0 Oranges. Top of the third. Limes now with the bases loaded. And the ball is going to be high. Mike Corlander, RBI walk. And then Brian Blue at the dish. Screwball misses. 8-2. Limes adding two in this inning. They elevate themselves over the pairs. Bottom four. Barney Buckapples at the dish. Slider lifted into left field. And windshield slides and makes the catch. How about this rookie, the Cephas windshield, being a shield in the field. Top five. Limes with one more chance. Ball is lined back at Jake Splinter, who makes the play on the peg. And the Oranges get the victory. 9-2 over the Limes as Splinter knocks it down and makes another play on the mound. We go now to the bottom of the fifth. Pairs. Phil Nerf in the hit for some reason. Brian Blue underhands it like it's softball. And Phil Nerf on his first ever plate appearance is going to double. The pairs, not much offense so far, getting something going. It's going to be nerfed back up again in for Tumbleson, and the inserted Christopher Joywalk cannot make the play on it. The bases are loaded. And then a strikeout. Ooh, Brian Blue gets out of the bases loaded jam on Barney Buckapples, and the Limes beat the pairs, and the Oranges do as well, and the standings are in shambles. Wow, a great game as we head into the final slate. Anyone can get the one seed out of these three teams.